Ih, hey, Beto Sam and welcome back to 88 racing this is a high voltage vlog after a very very long time very long time i'd say so today what we're going to do is we've come out on a sunday right of course and today what we're going to do is uh me and rehan we're going to do some versus mode on the r15 v3 and v4 now let me tell you this Rehan is a good uh, 20 30 kilos lighter than me so he has got the weight advantage plus power because uh, he rides a V3 and I'm riding a V4 which is a little lesser on power because of the emission norms now let's see how these both bikes perform The brakes on the V4, not that good. But yes, I always have one strong thing in my hand and that is the cornering agility of the V4. So now that we have made the pass, let's see what we can do. This is where I'm going to be swallowed off whole because of my heaviest weight. As you can see, it's very easy for him to tail me because he's a light guy and he is just sitting on my tail there he is as you can see Rehan is enjoying all the perks of being a lighter guy and I'm getting frustrated on the straight because of being the heavier guy
are straight and inclined a nightmare for a fat ass like me come on on my tail and let's follow him for a while again Front will go. Yeah, front so key solid be. How are you going to get this? These are some fast corners. Bola. 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 Bola.
Drag. Você quer então? We have completed our comparison vlog for today and these are the two bikes Rehan's riding the V3 still and Ishan's riding the V4 What I have come to conclude from uh, watching both the bikes I mean uh, riding both the bikes is that the V3 and V4 doesn't have too much of difference so there's uh, hardly a point where you know uh, you can say that this is a much much better bike engine wise emissions obviously it, it chokes the v4 a little bit that's for sure but uh, other than that both the bikes are pretty equally matched i mean i'm good 20 30 kilos uh, heavier than rehan but still i was being able to keep up with him at some places on the straights uh, and even uh, catch up to him so uh, but yeah the major difference the major difference that I have found out is the suspension the rear suspension on the V3 and the V4 are the same but the front is totally different it's a game changer for Yamaha the way that that front suspension is mounted it made the V4 so much more planted to the ground it's phenomenal and there are places where the V3 uh, the front would try to give up but then the V4 would still make the corner very easily with uh, good space to push further and now you'd ask why have I taken out all the fairings and everything because this is the bike that I use on track so that's why there's no fairings, no tail whatsoever it's just the front fairing that we use for the headlight I think the rear tail is a little bit lifted on that bike than this so which bike to buy so if I were you I'd say if you have the extra money if you have uh, an extra 20,000 to spend or whatever the price difference is I'd say the Yamaha R15 V4 is a perfect upgrade but if you don't have that then V3 isn't a bad option either now with that said we're closing this vlog I am Sushank Sharma and this is 88 Racing and I'm saying goodbye to you. See you in the next video. Hey, better sir. Here is one. Oh my God. Hey, be. Mom, but that's not normal, is it? Okay. Hey, baby.
और तो तो ही तो रहे कि फला क्या क्या बोल ये आदमी कुछ हुआ क्या नहीं नहीं चलिए चलिए